Hello, I'm Heidi Hisrick, your biomedical science teacher. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about what supplies you need for class, what they look like, how to set them up, and what options you have. And whether you are in PBS, HBS, MI, or BI, the information you need is all going to be here for you today. Remember that your syllabus is in Google Classroom and that's gonna have the exact supplies that you need for your particular class, but I'll also talk about them in this video. So the first choice that you're gonna to need to make this year is whether you would rather use a binder like this. If you're gonna use a binder, you can put everything in it and you need it to be at least one and a half inches thick so there's room for everything. Um, the other option is to use folders. And if you're going to do this, the number of folders you need depends on the class. So if you're using folders, get something durable and make sure that it has the three prongs so that you can three hole punch and then place your materials into your folder. Now, whether you choose to use the folders or the binder, decorate it and really make it your own. You can show off your personality and also what the class is about. I don't have these fully decorated yet. This year I'm choosing to use folders, but you can see on my PBS one, I have a little Project Lead the Way sticker. I've included PBS Unit 1, the title of the unit, and then down here it says Hisric Key. You'll want to put your name on all of them. And I put a little Hawkins Radio Club sticker because I love uh, Stranger Things. And I'll add some more stickers and things or drawings to this eventually. And then here's the one that I have for HBS. So another nod to Stranger Things. Uh, you can't spell America without Erica. She's my favorite character. And for MI, more sciencey warning, Adam is watching you. And for BI, a little Harry Potter. Just and Loyal, Hufflepuff's my favorite, but also H is for Heidi and H is for Hisrick, so I thought that was a good one. And then if you look at my previous years, in the past I have used uh, these dot journals and done interactive notebooking. So each of them has the title of the course and my name and the year on the side and then a cool picture that goes along with the class. So you really wanna decorate it, make it your own. You're gonna use this all the time. When you are putting the information on the front cover, if you're using a binder, you wanna do it like this where it has the title of the whole class. But if you're using a folder, the folder is gonna be unit by unit. So you'll want to title it with the unit title. The next thing I would encourage you to get are tabs. And I like to use these Post-it brand tabs that are nice and big enough that you can write the topic numbers on them. If you are in BI and you are choosing to use folders, you don't need tabs, but everybody else will need tabs. So here's an example from HBS last year. We include a tab for every topic. So as I said, in the past, I've done this interactive journaling in a dot journal, and I love doing that, but for this year, what's gonna work better is to just have something printed out that everyone can use. So this year I'm switching to a workbook. Okay, whatever class you're in, and this just happens to be human body systems, you will have a workbook printed out and provided to you. Now mine is finished uh, because I key mine before I have my students do their work um, so that I can help you. So your workbook, if you're in HBS, is gonna have the entire unit one. And that's true of PBS and BI as well. For MI, I've only given you section 1.1 to begin because there's only so much that I've done at this point. So you'll get them section by section. And you'll want to put this into either your folder or your um, binder. And this is what you'll be working on. So you have three different choices. One is you can get a copy of this from the school that's been printed black and white for you, and you can fill everything in by hand. The second option is if you have a color printer, so we have a color printer at my house, you can print out a color copy of this because I happen to love the color. Um, there's not that much color in yours yet because you haven't keyed it, uh, but you know the front page, for example, that one's kind of pretty in color. The third option is if you want to work electronically, you don't want to write by hand, you want to type everything in. 
If you go to Google Classroom, there is a Google Doc version of this, which you can make a copy of, and then you can type your information into it. So you'll notice I did type a lot of my information in, but there are also places where I hand drew things, and then I took a photograph and that went in. So just keep in mind that if you are choosing to type your answers, now and then you are going to need to do something by hand, take a photo, and insert it into the document. I definitely encourage you to hand write your answers rather than typing, but if you just hate handwriting, your handwriting is messy, you know that you'll learn it better by typing, you are welcome to do that. Okay, a few other supplies that uh, will help you be successful in class. You definitely need a laptop. So this is mine. I'm using a Chromebook this year. I love my Chromebook. Um, and now and then I'll use a, a, a laptop with fuller operations for certain things. Another thing that's handy is definitely your phone. Uh, you won't be allowed to use your phone in the classroom, but if you're virtual or it's the evening, your phone will come in very handy. I'll show you some really cool apps later to put on it uh, to make your life easier and even access the curriculum without needing Wi-Fi or data. So that's pretty cool. Other things, because we will be doing uh, some interactive journaling in our workbooks, definitely highlighters. So I got a pack of six different colors of highlighters. I love using these but I'd say at least like three or four colors of highlighters uh, would be really nice for your journaling. You also want pens um, or pencils, whatever you prefer that you enjoy using. And this is my favorite kind of pens. I got these on Amazon. I love them. I keep them in their little package. They're all different colors, so they're really fun. Um, but whatever pens or pencils you like, use those. Another thing that's handy, and it's not on your syllabus, but it is really handy, is to have some colored pencils. So if you um, can get hold of some colored pencils, those are super nice for things like um, coloring the bones. Uh, in the diagram of the human skeleton, there are many bones that you need to color different colors. So either colored pencils or maybe some fine tip markers would be really nice for that. But fine tip markers could bleed through your paper, um, so probably colored pencils. And then one more thing that's super handy are post-it notes. Um, I love to use post-it notes for various things in my journals. One thing you'll be doing is making graphic organizers. So for instance, here's a graphic organizer that I made for MI. And you'll notice that I put each term on a post-it. I just cut the post-its to fit the term. And then I can move them around the page as I'm figuring out my graphic organizer. And eventually, once I'm happy with it, I draw the little arrows and I tape down the post-its. So tape is another supply that could come in handy. And finally, because of COVID, if you're in person this year, you definitely need a mask. I hope that that's everything. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. And I'm so ready for this year.